Will I ever be as strong as Shazam? Most definitely. Will I ever be as funny as Shazam? Yes. Dude, there's clearly something wrong no, with that ape. No, you saw me shake it. I you know, see me read it. but there's clearly something malfunctioning with no, this motherfucker. No. You, you are not going to be no. nor funny or strong as Shazam. So sorry, bro. This thing is clearly messed I'm up. I'm reading here. it clear as day. Yeah, sorry. It's broken. It's broken. Probably no, got to bring it back. No, no you got to bring it back, bro. Sorry. Well, it's, it's malfunctioning. Yeah, sorry. Then I don't know what to tell you. Well, Actually, you know what? Even though you'll never be as strong as Shazam or anything, you um, are in the presence of a real-life superhero. Really? Yes. Where? Where? Bam, baby! Bam! When? Right here. Since when? Since when? Uh, dude, I've always been this way. Come on now. You had you didn't notice? I'm stunned. You are stunned. And I know, and I know right now you're probably, there's a million things going through your head. You're thinking, oh my Two God, I'm, I'm, I'm now inadequate as a man. Um, you're puny compared to, to me. I get it. I'm Everything's, low. I feel low. I get it. Yeah, I do. But. Oh, wow. You know what? At least you understand my feelings. I do. Even though I'm sort of a superhuman man of a, of a God right here, you. You are a God. Thank you, sir. But. You're very welcome. I know we have a movie review to do, and to be quite honest with you... How can I do that in front of a god? Exactly. So what I'm, I'm going to do... Okay. I'm going to change back to my regular form. For so, us? Well, more for, for, us, you, us, for you. For me, not a, For you. Not for the viewers? Well, the, well, they well, didn't well, know well, that well, the, the viewers Shazam? see me in superhero form all the time. You, on the other hand, you know... Come on. Don't worry about it. Wow. I'll, I'll go do it for you just so that I don't make him even more or less of a man because, you know, he needs some confidence in his life. So, yes, wow. I will definitely do, do, do that if you don't mind, sir. I don't mind at all. For his benefit, certainly not for mine. All right, guys. Well, let's uh, end up changing, shall, shall we? Yeah, baby. Look at this. Yeah. Welcome to the real world. Welcome to the real world, bro <laughs> brother. Um, more relatable, and yes. and guess what? Um, same level. Same level, and you're a little bit less than normal human element. being, and now you are. Well, for the time being, I can always switch back. You, well, on the other hand, no. I'll stay my little. You, you, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> there's you. Well. You get treated like us now. Yes, yes. yes. That's the you. My, my, my. False god. My false god. <laughs> um, no oh, pun intended. No pun intended. <laughs> um, guys, yes, we are talking about Shazam right here, the latest DC universe movie right here, and I was interested in it because I liked the trailers, but yes. I just didn't know where. They were going with the comedy, whether what was going to happen with sort of combining it, if it was going to work or not. Um, where do you want to start with Shazam, sir? All right. Well, shall we start with Billy Batson? Billy Batson. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so let's start with Billy Batson. Now, Billy Batson is an orphan, um, and he basically is. He basically is hopping around from different foster homes. different foster homes. Yep. All the while trying to find his mother because they got separated. And he is, you know, trying to find her. And, of course, he's um, committing crimes and everything. Just doing whatever he can to find, find his yep. mother. And he gets one more last chance at this foster home. Uh, it's either going to work or it's not. Yep. And the meanwhile, there is an older Shazam who needs a... A champion, a protector before that Shazam passes away. Yep. Um, picks Billy Batson, and we are off and running. Exactly. And mm. let me let me ask you this. All right. What did you think of the character of Billy Batson? Good, bad? Did you like the arc? Did you not like like the the arc? He had everything. He was okay. He was bad. He was bad starting to learn to be good what's yes. important in life yes having a family yeah it grows up he starts growing up yes 
because when he became Shazam at first, yes, he didn't know what he didn't know how to accept it. No, he was still being Billy Batson when he first was Shazam. Yes, and then as it went on, he started to, he started to realize grow up basically. He 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 learned to grow up. He learned what was to important get, in life to gain more yes. responsibility. The old yep. Spider Man thing of with great power comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. Yes, same Absolutely. thing. Um, I liked the arc. Again, both you and I agree it's a little bit predictable. It's, but that's that superhero movie. That's superhero for movie one oh one. It's a little bit predictable stuff here, but that's fine. I think it works. I'm not gonna lie. Um outside of Billy Batson as a character, um does the other characters work? The foster kids, the foster parents, the villains, do, does it really well, work? The foster parents were just there. Yeah. They did their job. They did. The other foster kids, well, I want to say his name was Pedro. The, he was a quiet one. The yeah, the uh, the uh, more larger, the bigger, yeah, one. the chubby kid. He was just he yeah. said a couple lines, a couple lines, and he was there. Um, the older I, teenager, the older teenager, they pretty much. She was trying to get into a college, into college, and that's her storyline. Yeah, she was like the protector. She like protect, you know. She yeah. kind of was like I'll, I'll say of it. all of them. She was she was the older one. Okay, She's I'll the say oldest. That. His little sister. They wanted to be wanted. Him to call her sister. Yes, and and he, she was, he wasn't and, accepting at first. And she loved hugs. She loved hugs. Was <laughs> real. I I liked her. She just yeah, wanted, I liked her too. She just wanted to be loved. She wanted to be loved, which is great. And you also had his other foster stepbrother. Well, you had the little you had the little ch Chinese kid. Yes, who he loved a, gaming. That's loved his gaming. Thing. He loved gaming. He was he was very smart. He on the computer. Yep. He figured out. And then the older. Foster stepbrother is the one that has more of the arc with him. Yes, and that's the one that's that has as the disability. Yes, and yes, does. who is somebody who gets picked on a lot and yes. bullied, and sees him as Shazam as an opportunity to, um, to sort of right wrongs. Yes, I, I guess, and to yep. sort of like take care of the bullying and, and yep. the stuff that he deals with. Yep. And, and guide him. And, and to guide him, exactly. Yep. That's that's where that, that try goes Try to talk from. to him. You know, try to be nice. And try to Billy be nice. Batson was pretty much set in his own mind. Set in his own... He wanted to leave, basically. Well, he wanted to just, just say, talk. I don't like this. I don't like these people. Yes. I want to go my own way. And he, But he's not 18 yet. But he's not 18 the, yet. The, just like the foster... Lady said, "You're not 18 yet. You yes. can't do anything." And he needs to, you know, learn to be with a family. And over time in the movie, he gets to that point of yes, being does. Like, like a family. Um, I mean, if some of the storylines are good. Some of them work, but some of them are a little weak as well. I will say, some, you know, they don't always gel. Um, as far as the villain is concerned, well, eh. Eh, 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 Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What 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 you you said right there. Yeah. Eh, yeah. That's that that he that's it. A little boring, you know. Like the part I thought he was really good in is when he went into the office building. Yes. And, there's, he, yes. and he confronted his his father, father and his brother. And his brother. That was. Oh yeah. We didn't talk the beginning of the movie. That's great. The beginning of the movie was they were driving. He was basically bullied when he was a little kid. Yes. The uh, the um villain. Yeah. And as he got he got older and got the power, yep, he got revenge. He 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 got revenge. That part is great. Outside of that, that was a good part. That was a great part. Yeah. But I don't feel like he's very menacing as a villain. I don't think he's really that effective as a villain. Um, some of the best superhero movies have a great villain in there. Yes. And this one just doesn't do it for for me. I just didn't really feel him him as this very sinister villain guy that I really wanted him to be. Exactly, he wasn't you know your psychotic. I mean, he was psychotic. Yeah, he wanted uh, he wanted powers yeah. and would do anything for it. T Typical villain one hundred and one. Yes, that's it's how they good villain is how they go about it. Exactly, you know. And oh. this one just didn't do it for me. I felt. No. No. It, Not it, quite. It didn't. And... Doesn't mean it wasn't a good movie. Well, that's true. <laughs> no, you're right. And, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, here, here's another aspect that I want to talk about, which is the comedy here. Because 
you were very worried going into this because the comedy the trailers the trailers i shouldn't go but i always say well, trailers mean nothing but the trailers i saw was a lot of comedy and just hoping it wasn't going that way because like i said trailers don't mean much to me true but it, there was a worry there was a worry that it could yes, be because it was too up. much Straight up comedy. It was too much. I don't want to go too much. No, but did you think the comedy worked, or did you think the comedy failed, or was in between? I thought it was uh, a little higher than in between. I thought it was a little too much. Okay. But it did work in a, it did work in ways. Sure. There were there were definitely funny parts. Yeah, absolutely. But I just thought for myself it was overwhelming at times, like all the time, like when his family when he turned when they became. More. Oh yes, yes. You yeah, know, and they were fighting in the sky, and his little brother was just was just one liners I didn't find funny. Yeah, you know, like was... Darla when she like was flying around. She just one liners were just not there for me. I thought the one liners were a little weak, and and look, I'm not gonna lie, they're throwing a lot at, at the wall here. Yeah, and some is gonna stick, and some isn't. And look, I'm not gonna lie, I was in the theater, and I didn't laugh as much as no, the other I audience didn't members they, did. No. Oh. Yeah. There are a lot of people. There was a lot of people laughing in the movie theater. And that's great. And but we weren't one. We, no, we I wasn't weren't laughing. Those people. I mean, I did chuckle. I did yeah, chuckle. There's things you here. You know, there was funny. His little foster brother was funny at times. I liked the moments where he was learning about his powers. He was trying to yeah. figure what kind of a superhero out. he was. What could he do? What was his powers? Was he invisible? Yeah. Can he fly? That was funny. That was Absolutely. funny. And those things, to me, I thought those things were. It was just the other stuff that I thought was uncalled for. I I agree. I, I felt a lot of it did not work, but when it did, it hit out, out of the park as far as I was concerned. I thought yes. it really did just in a like big, the, bad way. Just let the just know, let the it roll take over the plot, you know. Just so let let it take go take over. That's it, man. And is, well, no, I mean, look. At the end of the day, here, I feel like everybody is doing their best job with what they have of here. Course. I thought the acting overall. I mean, look. I think that Mark Strong is the villain. I don't think worked, but I don't think it was Mark Strong's fault. I think Mark Strong was doing the best with what he had. Which wasn't that good to begin with. I yeah. I you felt go with the script. I felt like to me, in all all honesty, I think he was given a weak villain from the start, and he tried to do his best with what he had, and it didn't quite work. I also think that Zachary Levi here is amazing. He did very good. Any time, and I swear to God, any time Shazam is on the screen, yes. I was having a ball. You did because Zachary Levi makes this movie work. Because if it's not for Zachary Levi, then I don't think this movie is half of what it is. A lot of, a lot of superhero movies are like that. Strong character. Very strong character makes the movie great. But he's a, but he knows comedy. Zachary that's, Levi knows comedy and he's able to make it work. That's great. Whereas I think some of the other actors around him does don't quite know how to make it yeah. work. And I think that's really where the problem lies. He's great, but a lot yeah. of people not so much around him. And well, he had to make he had to make up for a lot. You're right. He had to make up for a, a lot, and he was definitely like, if you are like on like a, a boat, right? Okay. And you're like you're like rowing and everything. Some people are doing more work than others. Yes. He's, he's he's doing, doing it all. He's doing it all. You could really tell in, in in the movie. Yeah. And that's why I think the stuff with him works because I think he he really knows well what he's doing here. He gets yeah. it. You know, like I said, some of the actors do really well. Some of them, not so much. Um, as far as the action is concerned, well, look, I like the action. I'm yeah. not in love with the action. Okay. I mean, it's very much big S Superman, Man of Steel type of action. Yeah, he's... He, yeah. Because in Man of Steel, he's... He's, he's a brewer. Brr, Oh, he's flying around and he's yep. he's doing all that stuff. No one can stop Superman. No one so, can stop Superman. Yeah. It's big CGI spectacle. This is the same thing, but I felt like it didn't quite gel because you have you have a comedy here of a guy trying to learn his powers, yep. and then so suddenly it turns into this big gigantic you know CGI extravaganza, and there's a little bit of a disconnect for me. Okay. There's a little I bit of, I, I don't know if there's a disconnect for you or not, but. Not to me, personally. Not to you, no. No, because it's, 
it's I hate to keep saying this, but it's just it's a superhero movie. Yeah, a lot of it's kind of the same in some way. It's the CGI same. is good and or it's bad. Well, it's the same thing of what you said. It's like it's it's every superhero movie. It doesn't yeah. change. Yeah, it's just it does that that part doesn't change in horror and uh, horror. Sorry, <laughs> no. superhero movies. I'm talking, you know, but important is plot, acting. Yes, and you know how the what it's about. If it all connects and if it all yeah, works, then it works. Then then then, then the, it works. Then the CGI spectacle works, though. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You don't want the CGI to overwhelm everything. I agree with you. You know, good villains. You know, good lines. Completely. Um, great superheroes. You know, to me, like the Dark Knight. Yeah. Without with Heath Ledger. Without was, without Heath Ledger. Without that, Heath that, Ledger. That nothing. I agree. I love. I mean, a Christian man. I, Bale, Christian Bale, I mean... I like Christian Bale, but he doesn't blow me away. Exactly. That's but why I think... Heath Ledger was absolutely amazing as Joker. Take Zachary Levi out of this, and yeah. I guarantee you yeah, that the movie's not half as good well, as what yeah, it is. It's not going to because it's, it's Shazam. It's Shazam. But I you think know, but he works as Shazam in the you, movie. You, I think you've got to have a few other people to hold up their end to make it great. I agree Besides, with you. That's when a movie becomes great when other people... You know, one hundred ten percent. You know, one hundred and ten percent. If you rely on one person, then if, you know it's it falls fail. apart. It yeah, falls it apart. I agree. And speaking of, of horror, as you were okay. you were the thing since I messed up, since you messed up, yes. and it was speaking of, of yes. horror. This movie is directed by David F. Sandberg. Okay. Now, David F. Sandberg directed Lights Out. The horror movie Lights Out, okay, which is really cool actually. I really like Lights Out. That's a really cool I one. I think I saw that. Um, he also directed uh, Annabelle Creation, which is the second Annabelle movie. You like? I, which I do like. I think that's good. And so he's mainly a horror director. So he came in here and switched up genres, gave it a, gave it a shot, and gave it a shot. Did it entirely work? No, I don't think it entirely worked, but I appreciate him giving it a chance and trying Are something they, different. Have you heard about uh, Shazam 2? Well, we got to see how this so, one does and I everything. I think it's going to do good. I think it's going to do good. I think it is. I mean, look, give David F. Stamberg credit. He got the he got the um he got what he wanted out yeah. of the movie. He wanted the different type of comedy. He got it. He wanted the 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 way the actors were. He got it. Uh, the movie looks good. I oh, mean, absolutely. he's he's a really good director. I liked him switching up their different type of genres. Somebody like a James Wan does that very successfully. So it's kind of nice to see David F. Sandberg doing that as well. Um, again, I don't think it completely gels or works, but uh, again, it was worth the try. Um, outside of that, I mean, look, it's it's not the worst DC movie. Oh. Oh God, no! Which no. I, by, by, by the way, I consider, <laughs> I consider Suicide Squad to be the worst DC Universe movie. I don't know if you agree with me. I, since yes, it is. Since, it's bad. Since brother. Man of Steel, basically. Yeah. Okay, it's bad. Not, not all the way to Batman. Now we to Batman. Superman, I should say. Oh and, yes, I agree. Oh with my that. God. Uh, as far as the best one, I I think it's Wonder Woman. I, I the new gen the, the, the uh, yeah the yes, new DC I, universe I, stuff I totally agree I, I I think it does too I think it works I think that works completely this is somewhere in between it works in some points and some points it, it doesn't yes it, well, I agree I I I do I mean what is your final thoughts and grade rating on okay, Shazam final sir? thoughts yes okay what like I would say well I'm gonna give you my grade first okay uh, B minus. Wow, okay. okay. I did like a lot of it. Okay. And my main thing... Yeah. I'm going to say it probably for a third time. Sure. Is a little too much comedy for me. Okay. For, you know, that's just... I know it sounds pretty plain, but that's how it is for me. I don't mind humor. A little humor here and there. Sure. But for me, it was overwhelming, you know? It's almost like something it like overwhelms a, everything for me. It's almost like a Thor Ragnarok. To, oh, for to, me, to yes, you. yes, because mm -hmm. I just uh, Where, I wanted it. I mean, Shazam. I don't read the fifty-two comic books. No, I don't, I don't know either. if it's dark. I like dark. I like the darker side. Yeah, DC is dark. I like sure. that. You know, and I, I, th I just don't know if Shazam was going to be dark. Yeah, you know, yeah, and from I agree the trailers, 
it just seemed like there was a lot of comedy and it for was. me it ended up being exactly sure Sure. You know, so that was my main concern. Yeah, I, it's it seems like I'm repeating it. No, no, but it's a big part why, why like it's... like when you said you know, Shazam when he was on the screen he owned it. Yeah, and if anybody else didn't do anything. Yeah, you know, and comedy, it was huge for me. Uh, you know, look, um, I know you like more of the dark DC universe stuff, and yes, I do, and. I'm not saying this had to be a dark yeah. movie because I, no, I don't no, think no. Shazam had to be no, dark. No, I didn't know what to expect. That's yes. what I'm trying to say. And I, I agree with you. I, you know, to to me, um, I feel like the comedy maybe overwhelms the movie. And like I said, there's a lot of it that doesn't work, but there's some that yes, does. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I just thought it, over, it overwhelmed a little too much. And look, some of the acting works and some of it doesn't. Yeah. And some of the action works and some of it doesn't. It feels like it's it's a mixed bag to me. Again, that's just our opinion. Yes. But I feel like it could have went either way. Uh, to me, it's still an entertaining movie. There's yes, still a lot absolutely. to like about it. But, you know, I went in with high expectations and I was a little bit more disappointed. Um, I'm going to give it a C+. Plus. Okay. It's not terrible, but no. it could have used a lot more Im improvement. Very possible. And look, um, if you go to the movie theaters, definitely go in with more checked expectations, and I think you will come out far more pleasantly surprised. But yeah, I still think it's very well worth it to check out, guys. Very well worth Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Oh, well, you know, it's kind of good to get out of the... The superhero clothes, but I really got to get back into it, man. I I I just don't really like being in civilian clothes all the time. So what, what am I kicking you know, what, here? What? What, are you what is this? What, what is, is this? That? What is it? Wait. Uh. Wow. What do you got there? Where did this come from? That I don't know anything about that. That's not. That's not mine, dude. That's not. It's not that, mine. That's not mine. I swear to God. No. This must be yours. No, I'm a real superhero. He that's no. no Shazam? Dude. That's not. Shazam! This is you. Look, that's not me. You are that's phony. Not, not false god. I'm not a false god. Yes, Look, you oh, are. That was the same noise you made right out of your mouth, or your lip sync it. I mean. I guess I'm the I'm the Millie Vanilli of your Millie of, Vanilli and Kiss. I'm the Millie Vanilli of superheroes. Yes, you are. I'm sorry. I you know what? I screwed up. I don't have the abs. I don't have. I don't even have. Give it back to you. I don't even have a two pack. I'm sorry. Uh, you enjoy it because you're thank you. not my hero anymore. Oh uh, well, I guess I'm more of an inadequate of a man. You are. Um, done with. Maybe I should check the eight ball. Yes. Will I ever be as strong as Shazam? I'll answer it for you. Never. Guys, I guess I just don't cut it anymore. Nope. Um, but definitely let us know what you think of Shazam. Please. If you liked our review, definitely let us know. And, um, well, we'll, we'll be back where you bought it from. Well, do I have to do it? Do I have to go back to... You? Yes, you do. To Toys R Us, because I really like Toys R Us. Well, Toys R Us is gone. I always wanted to be a kid. Well, now you're going to be a kid. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> Forever oh, and ever. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Guys, um, yes, we will see you back next time for another movie review. Um, uh, false God or no False God. False we'll God. We'll definitely be back. He, does, he loves doing that. I can't get enough Last of it. Last time ever. <laughs> Take care, guys.